We have four daily sales musts. There's four things we tell all of you to do. I don't know how you complicate it and I don't know how this is so challenging. There's four things in a day. Four things. You could do each of these one hour a day. Totals four hours a day. Four hours of a working day. Every F in one of you can do this. Every one of you have four hours a day. Spread it throughout your day. I don't care. We give you four things we want you to do. And if you do them all in one hour, it's only four hours a day. You don't even need an hour for half of this stuff, okay? Number one, you grow your audience. Grow your audience. I don't care how you do it. I don't care how you do it. Run ads. I don't care. Go in groups. Send friend requests. Go on LinkedIn. Send connections. Go in other people's groups and be interviewed. Go on podcasts. I don't care how you do it, but you need visibility on your brand. And you need to add people to your audience every single day or your sales pipeline is dry as popcorn. You will have no sales if you have no new leads. Every one of you need to run your profit possibility to decide how many leads a day do I need to add to my top of funnel in order to reach my sales goals. Guys, don't be irresponsible. You're the CEO of your desk. It's your job to know what your goals are going to take. If you don't know your numbers, you don't know your strategy. Data drives decisions. If you don't know your numbers, you do not know your guessing at what it's going to take to get there. That is not a CEO. That is not a millionaire. That is not smart. It's not efficient. I'm never going to take any action without knowing my numbers ever. I run my profit possibility every week because we're constantly pivoting. And I want to always know that as my audience grows, my numbers change. As my sales increase and I want more and more and more, those numbers change. I'm never going to sit here and guess at what I got to do. I don't have time to do that. I'm a CEO. I don't have time to sit here and say, hmm, what do I think it might take? Oh, I don't have time for that shit. Half of the things that you guys are wasting your time with is so much thinking, so much thinking. And it's like, guys, we have everything here for you. Run your profit possibility and you know exactly what you need to do. Get on the coaching call, get your actions and go do it. Simple, in and out in four hours a day. Number two, you know that you got to nurture and qualify that audience. Gone are the days, and this will change in the future, but right now, if you are not talking to people, you're not closing sales. And if you are, you're a hustler because there's no damn way anybody's buying today without some kind of conversation. Even Gary V is implementing this. Tony Robbins has a massive sales team doing this all day long. If you think you're above that, that is a sales gap. In this market, you're talking to humans or they're not paying you. So you absolutely, that is a big bulk of your day. Number three, we tell you to sell every day. Ask for the sale. If you're not telling people you have a solution, if you are not saying we have open spots, if you're not talking about an opportunity for your audience, you're not selling. In a business that doesn't sell 365 days out of the year is a dying business. Your grocery store is open come hell or high water. That place is open. They do anything and everything to keep their doors open for business. 365 days out of the year. Any business that wants to make money will use every opportunity to sell their solutions and services every day of the year. Why wouldn't you? You are not running hobbies. You are not running charities. You run a business and you're a CEO and there's no one else to do this for you. So if you are not shouting your solutions from the rooftops, who is? Who is? If you're not doing it, then it's not even happening. You cannot expect consistent sales if you're not consistently selling. If you only sell when you're desperate for money or you only sell when you're doing a launch, you're a bottleneck. It's not sustainable and scalable. Every day, you need to put an offer out there. Every day, you need to ask for the sale. Don't sit back and think people are going to come to you because you create a lot of content this week. That is not the online market today. That's not how people are buying. You got to make sure you get that. The fourth thing that we tell you to do, serve your clients. You need to be improving every day on how can I better serve my clients. You guys see us doing this literally all the time. You think every change we make is fun? It costs me a ton of money to do this. I'm doing it because I deliver exceptional experiences, which means I need to innovate. I need to improve. My team and I always have to be looking at how can we do better. 
that can never stop. The minute I stop doing that, my business will die. So does it cost time? Does it cost money on my end? Absolutely. Everything we do for you guys is no benefit to me. It is literally for you guys. It's costing me time and money, but it benefits you guys and it gets you guys a better experience and better results. You have to be fostering long-term relationship with your clients because you work so hard to get the client. You need to work harder to keep that client. You're going to work hard to get the client. You need to work harder to, to keep them or they'll go to someone else. Okay. Those are the four things all of you are doing every day. Grow your audience, nurture, qualify, sell every single day and serve the clients that you have with an exceptional experience. Go above and beyond to satisfy the client and foster a long-term relationship with that client. So they never really want to go anywhere else. It wouldn't even make sense.